Hello all, welcome back. In previous lecture, we talked about that is we get the input from the user and we just uh, did for the two students only. But now I don't want to do the same thing for the only two students. I want to take the input from the user that how many students you want. It means I don't want to do for the only two students. How we can do this? Very simple. Here you can just declare array of structure. So you can write S of, for example, 50. Then you can say this is array of structure. Now, I don't want only two students data. I want the data of that is a more than one student. So I'm just simply writing here N for the number of student and I for the iteration. So I'm just simply asking to the user that enter how many students you want. So user will enter the value that is can f percentage d m percent n. Now if user enter that I want the five students then I want to do the same thing five times. So what I will do I will put this particular code inside the loop i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus. So if user says that I want the detail of five students then we will simply run this particular loop for five times. Now definitely whenever we print this particular record at that time we will simply use the loop for i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and I am simply displaying the record. Now instead of s1 dot rno we need to write here s of i dot rno. Why? Because this s is an array of student. So now you can insert the value up to 50 records instead of s1 dot name you can write s of i dot name same you can do over here that is s of i dot roll number and s of i dot name now you can simply run this particular code and you will be able to see that what happened please see carefully enter how many students you want i want for example three students 101 name is for example dharmic 102 devan 103 tatsat three records are displayed that is 101 102 and 103 but what happens see here you can enter the records up to 50 but what if you want to store the 51 records right for that you need to take the pointer that we will discuss in the next lecture thank you very much have a nice day